So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a pen and a paper and I want you to write this down. What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you are new to my channel, hello. But if you're a return subscriber, what's up my girl? When it been a few hours, when it feel like days. Only been days, but it feel like months. When gone for you. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, today is gonna to be so freaking fun. We are doing a girl talk video. I asked you guys on my Instagram, what is some questions you have for me? Do you need advice on something? What's going on? What's the tea, baby? And y'all hit me with the good juicy questions. If you guys missed that Instagram post, first of all, you need to follow me on Instagram because that's probably why you missed it. But if you are following me and you didn't miss that post or you aren't following me, definitely give me a follow. But I'm gonna be doing a part two of this video to get everybody's questions in there if you guys like this video. If you guys don't care for it, then I'll shut up and put the makeup on my face and just be quiet and turn the music up. But I think y'all gonna like it because I liked it. Y'all gonna love this video. I know y'all gonna love it. I loved making it. It's such an amazing video and there's just so much gems and so much advice in this video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So buckle up because today's video is about to get juicy girl. I'm dropping all the tea, baby. Because I done lived multiple lives. Period. Okay? You are ready? Let's get into it, baby. My sister's here. Say hey. Hey. So, um, she's like in the kitchen, so y'all probably can't hear her that much, but she's also going to be giving you guys advice too today. So, I'm actually super excited for today's video. I'm going to be God, I'm gonna be munching a little bit. I did not eat yet. So, all I have with me is an everything bagel with the plain cream cheese. I don't think I ever had any other flavor of cream cheese. My cousin really likes the strawberry one. If y'all ever had the strawberry one, let me know. And then I'm drinking this. This is the Large Berry um, Spark Energy Drink. It's new and it's from Dunkin' Donuts. It's really, really good. I'm gonna tell you how I order it. I get the Sparked Berry. I get that flavor. I get large and I get light ice. And this will get you going for the day. I actually got this yesterday and I had about this much left in it. And then I had a little bit of Celsius. I know, I'm tripping, I'm mixing energy drinks. But I had a little bit of Celsius, so I poured the rest in here and then I put some ice. So that's what I'm gonna be sipping on. Let me just take my first bite, y'all. Please, please, I'm hungry. Please, please. Hold on. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 <laughs> y'all know when the teachers. Mm. Oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me eat this real fast. I'll be right back. Y'all, I had to tear that food up, baby. I was a little hungry. Squeezy. But now I'm energized because I got the energy to give y'all what y'all need to heal, okay? So we're gonna jump into the makeup. Um, first thing we're gonna do is my skin prep. Okay, so the first one, y'all asked me, we are coming in strong. Somebody said, how to not catch feelings? And that is such a good question because I feel like it took me so freaking long to learn how to like control my feelings, okay? And it's still something I'm like currently working on. I'm such like a lover girl that I just wanna give my love. Like, so I could definitely understand why that's a little struggle in today's age and in today's world because some people, they just don't deserve it, baby. They just don't deserve it. Typically, you don't wanna catch feelings because you're in the talking stage with somebody. The only way you're not gonna catch feelings is if you're talking to multiple people. I said it, okay? The reason why I feel like you, you should talk to multiple people instead of just one person in the talking stage, especially, is because one, it's not gonna hurt you as bad if you find out that the person you're dealing with is talking to multiple people because that's a thing that can happen. That's not your boyfriend, that's not your girlfriend, so you don't need to just be talking to one person. Boyfriend and girlfriend, talking and dating, these are all different things. They're different words for a reason. When you're talking to someone, most likely y'all texting, y'all FaceTiming, y'all on the phone, but then it can elevate to dating and dating is now, he's taking you to dinner, they're taking you to brunch, they're taking you, you know, out. So you need to be dealing with different people because you're not gonna have your emotions invested in one person. What tends to happen is 
You're gonna just be waiting on that person to text you back. You're gonna just be, what is he doing? Oh my God, he watched my story, but you know what I'm saying? But when you kinda got your own thing going on and you talking to other people, it don't bother you as much. Say you don't wanna talk to multiple people, especially if you're a girl and you talk to guys. Men are very stressful and one of them is enough. Two of them is like, you know what I mean? So, you just wanna be busy. That's gonna be your best thing. You wanna be busy. I don't think anybody is done with self-improvement. So, if you are catchy feelings, you're not focused. You know what I mean? You're too worried about that person and what you can get out of a relationship rather than yourself so you can go start that business you've always been thinking about you can go hang out with your girlfriend you can start working out focusing on your health whatever the case may be but just being busy and not being just fully indulged in one person will definitely help you not catch feelings what about you do you have any advice for them to help them not catch feelings for not catching feelings i feel like it's kind of like what you said not focusing too much on me because I used to be that person yeah. where I used to catch feelings and I'm always worried about this and that, what they're doing, if a lady text me back right. or whatever. I'm realizing or I've re realized that at the end of the day, if they like you, they like you. Yeah. If they want to talk to you, they're going to talk to you. Exactly. So stressing about what they're doing or whatever they have going on is kind of pointless because at the end of the day, you don't know if they're actually really busy. Right. And they just are waiting till they have that time, their free time to actually talk to you. Just worrying about yourself, keeping yourself busy. Because if you have something to do, you're not worrying about somebody who's not texting you right now. Exactly. You think a millionaire that's running a multi-million dollar business is like, did Johnny text me back today? That bitch is getting to the money right now. Johnny, I'm gonna text you when I get off. And if you ain't text me, great, cause I gotta go to sleep. So the next thing that you guys asked me was uh, how to be confident. I think confidence is such a question that is in almost every girl talk because so many girls struggle with confidence. Let me tell you something. Confidence is not a one size fit all. And confidence is not you got it or you don't. You know what I mean? It's not like that. Confidence is like a spectrum. There's different levels to being confident. And it's a journey. So you have some people that have no confidence at all. A lot of times people that don't, girls that don't have confidence, they come off as a pick me. And if you don't know what a pick me is, a pick me is a girl that wants to be chosen and everyone wants to be picked but she wants to be chosen so she's going to if society says girls are very dainty and they talk like this and they they don't party and they don't stay out late and they don't drink after because they see society or men might say that they like that they will abandon their beliefs, they will abandon their ways so they can appeal to somebody else's standards because they want to be picked. So another way you will know if you're a pick me, and if you are, that's okay, it's something you have to work on. If you or someone you're around is constantly throwing someone under the bus, like let's say you guys get around guys and it's like, oh, I've said it, so I'm not sure, I'm a tall girl, you know what I mean, I'm tall. So society might, be like, oh, they like shorter women. They like the girls that's 5'1", five 5'2". Five so if I'm a taller girl and my friend's a little shorter and she's a pick me and we get around men and then she's like, yeah, because I'm just so tiny and I'm just so small and I'm just fun size, yeah. Like, you know, like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I just don't know how girls are so tall. Like, how's the weather up there? Like, trying to be funny a little bit, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's pick me energy because you want that person to be like, oh yeah, I like girls, mom, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of how pick me's act. And pick me's will try to throw somebody under the bus and use them as a stepping stool to make them feel better. And sometimes it can appear as confidence. Like that person, you might think she's confident in her height, but no, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a veil. This person is actually very insecure. So they feel like that if they have anything that society might like, or if they can convert into something that society might like, then they will be picked. So they're 
there's levels to confidence. Someone that's confident is, if I walk into a room, I know I'm a tall girl, I know I'm 5'7", and I'm gonna put those heels on and be 6'1 in this bitch, okay? And I know that I look good, you know what I mean? Confidence, building confidence comes from exposing yourself to situations that make you realize you are lacking in confidence. You know what I mean? If you go into a room full of beautiful girls and you start thinking you're not beautiful, that's a good thing because we're getting somewhere. Now we're like, all right, so there's something going on in here that I need to work on. So the way that you can work on that confidence is one, affirmations. I know it sounds very cliche like, oh my God, here we go with the self talk, the mirror talk, but it is talking to yourself. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am worthy. Like really talking to yourself and eventually you will start believing it because you will start to receive opportunities that will prove that to be true. Another way to build your confidence, kind of become the woman you wanna be. So I know this is probably controversial, you obviously want to love yourself when your natural, your natural hair, this is the way, but your natural hair, your natural skin, you know, no filters, no nothing. You want to love yourself in your, in your natural form. And the way you do that is by being in your natural form and appreciating yourself and looking at yourself and not putting yourself on a, a, a stool and comparing yourself to others. But another way to build confidence is Sometimes we are not confident because we know that we could do better. You're not gonna be confident if you're walking around looking like a bum in shitty ass or bummy ass clothes. Why, how would you feel confident? You know what I mean? Like, you know deep down that you want better for yourself. So now if you start taking care of your appearance, you start taking showers more and smelling good and washing your hair and your hair smells good and putting on you know, you're a nice outfit that suits your, your body structure and the confidence is starting, is gonna start to come out because you're not hiding in your clothes anymore and walking around like this now, you're like, okay, I look good. You know, I'm a beautiful girl. That is how you build confidence. Yeah, I actually watched a video yesterday on building confidence mm -hmm. and it was actually really good. Like, Confidali. Meaning okay. to have trust in. Mm. Mm. That's that's a word. So confidence comes from the Latin word confidali, trust in. Okay. The few topics that they were saying that helps you build confidence. The first one, it's not really in order, it's just random order. It's keeping your promises. Saying what you mean, stop running away, don't compare yourself to others. Assertively state your case and don't be afraid. Okay. So the main things that I feel like that what we all think about with confidence is assertively stating your case, comparing yourself to others and being afraid. Yeah. Because comparing to yourself to others, that's why I'm on my my social media hiatus because the business that I have, I'm working on it, but because I see so many people moving faster or having everything done already, right. I'm like comparing myself. Right. And I'm just like, well, so and so. So and so has this going on, so I can't, I may not be as good. Or right. I can't get this done. Or people are not going to come to me because she got all the people. Uh -huh. So with this hiatus, I actually realized the other day, I'm just like, I haven't been comparing myself. And I've been thinking about different ways for me to get people. Uh -huh. how to step out of myself and not being afraid mm -hmm. because my big thing is being too scared of talking to people going up to people seeing them face to face and getting the no i never allow people the opportunity to say no because you yeah because you already assume so you're just like yeah yeah and assertively stating your case i feel like a lot of people do that especially when they're at work too you're dealing with somebody that you can't really bother with or somebody says something you don't like in general, some people just back down and they don't say anything mm -hmm. because they just feel like it's either going to turn into something big right. or whatever they have to say, nobody wants to hear it. And a lot of this, I, I take it personally because these are things that I'm working on within myself mm -hmm. because my voice is already low. 
so people don't even hear me right. when I'm talking. So on top of that, I'm not thinking that people are going to even want to listen so to yeah. what I'm saying. But part of it is because they can't hear me. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just like, well, I just keep on talking now until somebody hears me at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on going because at the end of the day, they're going to keep running their mouth, so I'm going to keep running my mouth too. And somebody's going to eventually hear what I have to say. Yeah. It's going to be heard. Yeah. But <coughs> the, the, the main, I feel like the, the main thing to finding your confidence is, to be honest, is not caring. That's like the biggest thing. Not care what like others think and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah, you don't I care agree. about what people think. You don't care about how it's going to work. You just you just have that I don't care mentality mentality, and it's not in a bad way. It's in a productive way. Confidence is something that you can build, and like I said, it's a spectrum. So no confidence all the way to being the most confident, and you you move, and sometimes it goes backwards and it goes forward. But you want to always move forward, and just having this I don't care what someone has to say about me. Cause you know me attitude is gonna help you move the dial a little bit more. And when you start taking care of yourself and, and having pride in yourself, it's gonna show more confidence because now you are, like if I painted a picture and I, got, I had 30 minutes to paint it and I had to show it to 50,000 people, I might not be that much confident. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be like, all right, so I only had 30 minutes to do it, so this is my picture. Where if somebody gave me six months to create, I'm a procrastinator, so I probably still would do it in 30 minutes, but if someone gave me six months to create the best picture and I had to show it in front of the same 50,000 people, I'm gonna have a story behind it. I'm gonna be like, so this is what I decided to create. This is what it meant to me, and this, that, and the third. The confidence is there because I put in the work. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you wanna put in the work. You don't wanna care what other people say if they don't see you putting in the work, or if they don't like the work that you're putting. Huh? You gotta say what and say what you mean and mean what you say. Next question you guys have for me is how to better yourself. And I love this question because I am a self improvement junkie. Like I literally, I am so obsessed with self improvement. And I'm gonna tell you why it's so good to better yourself before I tell you how to do it, okay? Because I got the tea. The reason why it's so important to better yourself is because when you go down that journey, it starts to become addicting and it actually will change your life, you know? So it's like being addicted to working out, right? It's the same thing. You're going to the gym, you're going to the gym, you're working out, you're not like addicted and it's like, but nothing shows for it. Like, you're gonna start to see your body change, you're looking more healthier, you're getting more energy, you're more happier. Like, you're gonna start seeing like, real changes and it's the same thing when you are out just trying to better yourself in any avenue and my favorite area to start there's multiple areas so what I want you to do is I want you to grab a pen and a paper and I want you to write this down these are the areas that you can better yourself and you can choose which one you want to start with but I'm gonna tell you which one I started with and this is my recommended one I want you to write down financially I want you to write down faith I want you to write down family slash friends. I want you to write down fitness. And I want you to write down fun, okay? Those are the five Fs. And those are each avenue in life that you can always improve. And some may outweigh the others. If you are somebody that is struggling financially, that's something you wanna work on. If you are somebody that is struggling with your health, Fitness is something you want to work on. If you are somebody that has an estranged relationship with certain family members, you're not close to certain family members, you're whatever the case may be, that is something you want to work on. If you are somebody that, and faith goes for two ways. If you are religious, this means that I want you to get closer to God. If you are not religious, this means that I want you to just start having faith in different things for you believing in yourself okay the best one for you to start with hands down is your faith okay I'm just saying that but I'm gonna be real with you what I really started with was financial <laughs> faith is really good because you want to work on like for me 
I am, I do have a relationship with God. So working on your relationship with God is, is life changing and you will see so much uh, change and, and you start becoming less worried. You start becoming more stable in your decisions and your thoughts and you just you you just less stress because you're giving your words to God. You're letting go and you're letting God. But if I can be frank, for me, I started to work on my financials a little bit more. But to work on my finance so y'all listen. I got I got I have so much advice for y'all that like I don't even it's like hard for me to even get it into like words right now because I just have so much I just wanna say because all these things you guys are asking are so freaking like good and important. If you guys want me to do a video on the five F's, I will definitely do a sit down talking video on the five F's because that's a whole different ballpark. But let me answer the question that she asked, how to better yourself. The way you wanna better yourself is it starts from your mind. It starts in your head. If you have negative thoughts towards yourself, if you have limiting beliefs about the things that you can't achieve, this is where you want to start. You want to start with yourself. You want to start with your head, okay? Number one way to do this, you might not like this, read. Read, read, read. These, they have books, self-help. You can go to Barnes and Nobles, you can go on Amazon. Self-help books that will literally tell you the gems of life. And I'm gonna tell you some of the books that changed my life. Atomic Habits, Think and Grow Rich, and The Power of Now, and The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Those books right there has changed my life and it helps me better myself. One, not only have I been smarter, I use better words, I speak better, I know how to articulate myself better because I read. In these books, they give you so many tips and tricks. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm gonna be trying out the Huda Beauty uh, Beauty Bake um, setting powder. I've never tried this. Do you have advice for them to help better themselves? Because maybe you'll help me get my words together. Bettering yourself, I feel like because it's so much, it's hard to put it in one, but bettering yourself is you thinking of having the idea of what you want for yourself first. What is it that you want? Where do you see yourself? And what is the type of lifestyle and stuff like that? You have to have that in your brain first for you to understand what it is that you're going to be working towards. That makes so much sense. So, with I'll use myself as an example. The lifestyle I want is a little bit, it's more luxury. I don't want the... Can you pull this little thing out for me? I don't want just like the simple life. You buy a regular house, you live with your husband and kids, and that's it. I want more of a luxury lifestyle. So you have to think about what it is that you want. And then you take the certain steps. You gotta take this little by little because if you try to do everything at one time, it's just gonna feel like you're not doing anything at all. Writing in a journal. Anytime I feel some type of way or in a mood or something, I write in my journal. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's a really good way and it's actually um, like a psychologist based where it says that writing in a journal is actually really good for your mental health and all those types of things. Mm -hmm. So bettering yourself, it's 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 not a way, there's no one answer to Right, it. right. I think that's why I was struggling. Like, yeah. it's like so many ways you can go about that. You can't really think of it as one, one simple step to bettering yourself. Mm -hmm. But I can say by having a goal of where you want to be, that can be the, the base of so setting a goal. So they go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. My blush is looking crazy right now. The next thing that someone asked me is how to move on. So how to move on is a great question because I used to struggle with that so bad. And I still feel like I'm still kind of like dealing with that a little bit because like there's certain people that's in my life that even I will mention their name and then somebody will be like, still? <laughs> the guy from high school? Like, it's like, girl, let it go. So I definitely understand the want to move on. But, and, and I feel like I'm finally, like even the person that I'm referring to, even him, I feel like he's even understanding like, oof, I think she kind of done with this little game I've been playing with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finally like, 
I'm kind of not really trying to answer calls. Don't really want to text. Like, it's just like, there's no hate. There's no love lost. It's just, I'm moving on. So, the best way that you can start the process to move on. I'm gonna say it, it sounds like the first tip I told you. One, it's a, the statement is kinda true when they said, if you wanna get over somebody, you have to get under someone else. It's kinda true, but not necessarily, oh, you gotta go run and go get a new partner. What it means is you want to be busy with something else. Distract yourself with something <coughs> else. That is the best way to move on, okay? And the best thing to distract yourself with is something that is going to be beneficial to help you. So if you want to be a content creator, start that. Get wrapped up in that. Every time you wanna text him or her, I'ma need you to go. Every time you wanna pick up that phone and text them, just go on YouTube and watch another video on how to start a YouTube channel, how to go viral on TikTok. Whatever platform you're trying to work on, go spend your time doing that instead of dealing with that person. Also, another way to help you move on, now this is not gonna work if you know the relationship was peaches and cream and everything is perfect and da 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 da. Typically that's not the case, but it can be sometimes because maybe you know you guys broke up or you it didn't work out or you know your crush didn't like you back, so there was like nothing on their end that went wrong, um, and it could be something on your end. You could be busy or you you know you could have had some family situation and you had to let the relationship relationship go and you're kind of wanting it back now and they don't so you have to learn how to move on but this is for the people that girl he was cheating or he was lying or he was aggressive or he didn't take you on dates how you wanted to if it's one of those situations i'm gonna need you to write down everything that he did that you did not like if he smacks while he eats write it down if his feet stay write it down if he talked too much, write it down. If he wasn't romantic, write it down. If he forgot your birthday, write it down. If he's a liar, write it down. If he talks to other girls, write it down. If he be commenting under other girls' pictures, write it down. Y'all, the fact that I can keep going because men be playing is crazy. But I want you to write it down. The reason why I want you to write this down is I want you to always remember that's why you left because it's so easy for us to kind of forget like i remember when i was dealing with somebody that wasn't good for me anymore and like we weren't we went and talk and the first week i'm like yeah because he tried me and i'm done and then week two i'm like yeah i'm done and then week three i'm like what are you doing again it wasn't that serious. Like, and it's just like, I end up crawling back. But it's like, if you write down all the crap that that person puts you through, and before you fall for that moment of weakness to reach back out to them or whatever, and you kind of look back like, okay, well, what was it again? You're gonna be like, oh yeah, no, but he was he had me messed up with that one. I, I love myself too much to even go back to this. That's gonna help you move on, okay? I can go down a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how to move on. But for people that are very, very loving and they give people the benefit of the doubt or they have patience or they try to give grace to people, you have to learn who is the right person to do that. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's going to be hard because it's going to be all fine in the beginning, but at the end of the day, deep down inside, you know. Regardless on, regardless on what you think you know, or that your heart may really feel like they're the one, deep down inside you really know. Because there was times where I knew and I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. And it just went down and got worse and worse to where it's like you should have known that to leave in the first place. You're always going to have that intuition. and. Most females, their intuition is right. Some of them I've met where they try to do the most and try to make up something. But when you have like a really gut feeling, you have to follow that gut feeling, no matter how hard it is. They may not be for you, and then the person that is really for you can do the same thing. True. So you don't have to worry about losing out on something because God is gonna have what you need coming right after. Sorry y'all, my camera's about to die. But 
I think what she said was perfect. Knowing who to forgive. And when you know something's wrong for you and there's better, you just do better. That's the best thing you could do. You just do better. You just know. I'm not gonna sit here and keep accepting less because I'm scared to be alone or I'm scared that no one's gonna like me or the next person's gonna do the same thing so I might as well just be with this guy. Like all those limiting beliefs, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out girl, cut it out. It's okay to be alone. Being alone does not mean you're lonely, you know? It doesn't mean no one loves you and no, it doesn't mean that. It just means that you are choosing your peace until somebody says, I want you and I want to be with you and they move properly about that. There's like one other thing and I feel like it, it's like a big thing to me. Mm -hmm. And it happened because I'm on a fast right now. And it happened while I was praying and I always ask God to forgive me. But this time I asked for his forgiveness and I asked for forgiveness. I have to forgive yourself. I forgave myself for not forgiving. Because you'll get to a point to where you move on, but you're not forgetting anything. And you're upset on how it went and you're upset because you allowed yourself to be in that situation. But you gotta learn how to forgive yourself and move on because at the end of the day, you can't go back. Yep. You can't change it. Going back to them is not going to give you the second opportunity mm -hmm. again. Everything's gonna be different. Nothing's gonna repeat itself. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn how to forgive yourself. Ask God for that forgiveness and make sure to forgive yourself and not hold on to what you felt like you should have done or how you should have walked away and all of that stuff. It's a fact. I feel like that was for me too, because sometimes I'm like, yeah, I made me single for a minute, but it's like, it's teaching me something. It's teaching you how to be alone. It's teaching you how to love yourself. It's teaching you not to accept the bare minimum. It's teaching you like certain things. It's not to hurt you. You know, when God is pulling you away from somebody and he's telling you, no, 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 no. It's not because he's like, I want you to be lonely. Ah, ah, ah. No, it's because this is not for you. I have something better for you. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? Trust, because once you fall out of the trust, that's when everything will go down. Yeah. You gotta trust your process. Trust the process of where you're going and where you're going to end up being. Yeah. Don't think about what's happening in between. You gotta be thankful for the in betweens to get you to where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves. This is such a good video. I really, really love this video so much. Like, I really love this video. I hope we could do some more videos like this if you guys like it. But you guys asked me one more question. And what motivates me to be consistent? My biggest motivation to be consistent, it's going to be cliche, but it is what it is, is my girls, my team, my supporters. Once you realize that this is bigger than you and you are creating a community and you are uplifting somebody or you're teaching teaching somebody something that's what makes you that's what makes me stay motivated to be honest it really really helps just knowing that i it's gonna help somebody even if it's one two three four five people it's going to help somebody somebody looks forward to hearing my voice to seeing my face to learning a tip or trick from me that's the number one thing that keeps me going also and that's why I like to read the comments and stuff like that. Another thing that keeps me motivated, I really believe in this quote where it says, you didn't come this far to just come this far. There's more in store for you, you know? So it's like anytime I start something and I really put my all into to it, I can't just give up that easily. So some of you guys may know, but I'm pescatarian, which basically means that I don't eat any land animals. I only eat seafood. I've been pescatarian for almost eight years now. And it's like, there's a reason for that. Like, obviously, it could be easier to eat chicken. It could be cheaper to just eat meat. You know what I mean? Seafood is, is expensive. But the reason why I can't stop is because once you start giving time and putting in effort and, and, and doing something, I just don't want to just, all right, I give up. It's like, I just can't because I feel like it, it's, I didn't come this far just to come this far. Like, that's it. 
all right, you had an eight, eight year run, that was all you had. Like, it doesn't make sense, like, you know what I mean? And and it's it's easier to explain it in in, in, in constant creation form. I've been doing YouTube and, and social media for years, so it's like, every time I would, you know, have a little bit of growth or a video would do good or something like that, it's like, is that, is that, was that gonna be your biggest accomplishment? No, I have big goals, big dreams, big places I wanna be, things I wanna do, so it's like, my biggest accomplishment in social media isn't to reach 100,000 views, a million views, and that's it. That's not it for me. You know what I mean? So that's what kind of keeps me going. There's more. There's more. There's more. Don't stop. And it's, it's amazing. Um, that's something. It's like lifting weights. You can go to the gym and say, okay, I'm going to do three sets of ten. So I, I'm going to do three sets of ten. Three sets of ten. You know? Good. But all the real fitness people, they say go till failure. Till failure. That last set, don't give me three sets of 10. Push it, 11, 12, keep going. See see what, what's really in there. When you rip this skin apart, you get through everything under there. Who's in there? There's a beast in there. There's somebody that is gonna be, anybody that is, fitness is always a great example because it's a physical example because we are physical creatures we need to be able to see it to believe it and that's something you want to work on so you want to be able to believe it before you see it but in the beginning we need to see it to believe it so fitness is always such a good example those people that go to the gym they're not uh, uh, got a big old butt behind them because they're just doing three sets of ten no when they start getting serious into that gym life into that fitness world they start working out until failure. Because guess what, they trying to see what's really in them. It might not be on that second set that you see and what's really in you. It might not be on that third set until you see what's really in you. It might not be on that fourth set, but you pushing and it's getting harder and it's getting harder. And you're like, what the fuck? I said I was gonna do 10, I'm on 15. I'm on 17. I'm on 20. You're unlocking a new level of you that you didn't even know existed because you're not giving up. You're not giving up. You showing up for you. You're showing up for you. And this is through anything. When I post a YouTube video, yes, the girls tap in, but not. no one's like, yeah, she posted. She's being consistent, woo! When I go to the gym, oh my God, she went to the gym, guys. She's be this is for me. This is for me. This is for me. You know what I mean? So whatever you're struggling with consistency in, you gotta understand that. You gotta keep pushing and know you didn't come this far to come this far. That's something that I'm trying to not figure out but do myself. Because it's easier said than done. You have to really, really push anything that you're trying to do in order for you to achieve it. Because it's so easy to just walk away. Yeah. You could just literally push everything back in the back burner and say, you know what? I don't feel like doing this today. Yeah. I'm not in the mood today. Yeah. And I've been I, but for me, I have to really force myself to do so because I'm a person that if I don't really feel like doing it, I'm not doing it. Yeah. And I'm not going to think twice. And then at the end of the day, I feel bad because I'm like, I could have literally just right. it because I I went to the store and I was able to buy something. Within that time, I could have been doing what I was supposed to do. Get it done. Instead. So my thing is, is my main thing is, Doing stuff when it's hard. What you can get past and keep doing when it's hard, because it's easy. Today, I can be like, you know what, I'm good. I did this today, I did that today. Tomorrow, I'm not doing anything, mm -hmm. and it's going to suck. So, doing the stuff, the time for it is the hardest, mm -hmm. is my thing. Because at the end of the day, after the hard day, the next day, you're going to be fine. You're going to be able to do it. Exactly. After a hard day, that's the truth. This was such a great video. Um, I just really, I love breathing life into you guys and I just I just know that someone needs to hear it. It is just, it's, 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 it's an it's a unbelievable feeling because I've been there and some situations I am there. So 
I understand and I hope that you know something just clicked something clicked and I like that today you got to hear two sides of of everything you know because I might say something in a way that don't click for you but then she says it and it clicks for you or vice versa so today you got hit with a double whammy a double whammy and yeah today was just such a great video I love you guys so freaking much. The video's about to close, period. Yeah, she was hiding from the camera. I was in there a little bit. Yeah, she was coming in a little bit. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys watch the video all the way through, go ahead and comment down below this secret emoji right here. That is how I know you're locked in and you are serious about this girl talk, okay? Comment that secret emoji, that's how I know. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and just join the, join the team and do it like Nike, period, because it's lit over here. I love you guys so much, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye, my love.